Healthcare experts in the fight against HIV and AIDS have launched an innovative community based testing initiative in Atlanta. Channel 2's Public Affairs Director Jocelyn Dorsey talked with the man who started the program in Los Angeles back in 1995. Jocelyn. Linda Michael Weinstein is the president of the AIDS Healthcare Foundation who recently visited Atlanta to officially launch the new project and to spread the word about the services of the foundation. We are the largest AIDS organization in the world. We're in operating in 38 countries in 14 states and District of Columbia, and we're primarily a medical organization. We primarily, primarily provide uh, outpatient medical care uh, to patients across the world, more than 618,000 of them. So you have something new that is opening in Atlanta. Tell us about it. We have the out-of-the-closet thrift store, uh, pharmacy, and HIV testing center on Cheshire Bridge Road. Why a thrift store? Yeah, this was, uh, goes all the way back to 1990. Uh, we started in Los Angeles, and now we have them in many cities across the uh, country from Seattle to uh, Miami and places uh, in between. And, uh, but also, it's turned into a great way for people to be tested because people can go into a thrift store anonymously you know, and get a test. Uh, it takes a lot of the uh, stigma or the discomfort out of it, and it's been very, very successful. A lot of people probably don't know um, as I have come to learn, or I think I know, that people who take the medication literally reduce the risk of passing it on to others? It's close to zero chance of a person infecting another person if their viral load is zero. And, uh, and we can bring people to an undetectable viral load in most cases. It's mostly up to the person. I mean, you need to take the medication every day. You know, and, and, and that's hard. I know when I'm supposed to take antibiotics, I always forget. I mean, so, you know, it, it, that's a challenge, but um, most patients overcome that. They get into the habit of doing it. And um, so, you know, we've come such a long way. I mean, I started out uh, providing hospice care to patients in the late 80s, and uh, people were uh, dropping like flies. And now, one pill once a day. So what do you think the barrier is? What's stopping people? You know, knowing all this is occurring and, you know, the possibility of really reducing the risk to others. It's a variety of things. Denial is a very strong part of it. No one wants to think of themselves as having a serious illness. Uh, one part of it is uh, shame and embarrassment, you know, uh, what people will think of them. But um, if they have a regular partner, will they have to reveal it to that partner? Uh, if they're single, Will they have to disclose to prospective partners that they have the virus? And I think that very often when people get an HIV diagnosis, they very often get very depressed, uh, and that kind of immobilizes them. And, and, you know, if people can find somebody that's close to them, a friend, a clergy member, a, a, a uh, family member who they can uh, tell and get support from, uh, go with them to that first appointment, or just, uh, you know, tell them to hang in there, I think that's very valuable.